Hi there, this is JJ's Lego Tutorials and today I've got you a new video with a new creation I have made for you guys out there. So this is um right now knots and crosses. Simple there is reds versus the golds, that cones, I decided not to do squares and circles, whatever. Or crosses, but and it's quite portable and small. There's a board here and it's like 8 by 8 is how big it is. You could do 6 by 6 but this bit's for like the whole other pieces. I'm pretty sure you only need 4 on one side and 5 on the other. But I added 6 on each side for spares. So I'll just dive straight in. I've got this idea from the Lego Ideas book. Um, you should really go check out that book. It's made by Lego. And it's very useful. And in there it had this big thing like make your own games section like other stuff and it was like different games like Ludo there's some knots and crosses in there but I'm like this is way too big like really so I decided to scale it down just a teeny bit and make it more portable easy to carry you know also you notice I have these same pieces again these pieces you find in Heroica they're like you some people call them jumper, like just to stand in the middle of a 2x2 two two plate and I find them very useful in lots of creations. So you're going to need a 6x6 six six base plate that's dark grey. I gave it a dark grey theme, but you can give it anyone like a forest theme or like heavens or sci-fi. And then I had two of these. This is 2x8 like this. And then four of these. These are two by four. And they're all grey. Then I've had four of these. So they're light grey. And the drum set down in the middle. And five of these dark grey. You can just around and have four dark grey and five light green, but who cares? Light grey. And you're gonna need six of these cones and gold and six of these cones, red. But if you want it, you can change it around. You can make it like not cones, but cylinders or boxes or whatever. Just as long as uh, you can stick the bottom on and that they're quite small. So I did it. I started off with my base plate. Look at the bottom. And then I got these two big ones. And stuck one on the this side. Like this. One on the opposite side. Like this. And so this will make something like this and it begins it off. Then we get this one, 2x4, and put it on there. And get this 2x4 and put it on the other side. Then we just have to put in the last two. You can put it in any formation you want. I just do it like this for some reason. It looks cooler. Now we have this. This is the board. Now all we get is these ones. So the, the ones you have four of light grey or dark grey, here yeah, I got light grey you put in a formation like this like a 4 and then in dark grey you just put in the remaining spots I did the light grey dark grey theme, I didn't have to but that way I don't need these pieces in the middle like to represent that to the board and it's easy to see where as well so it's much easier and then I just get all the other little pieces on the side so there should be, I think, you can do five, but I'm doing six. And the also the other reason I do six, not only for spares, but it looks symmetrical. And symmetry is like, like you have to have it, because if you don't, you're screwed. Um, I, I really do like my symmetry. So just put on this last one. And so, there you go. Uh, knots and crosses barred, very portable useful for like planes or cars trips so you don't have to uh, useful because you don't have to keep on doing the same thing on and on and on so it doesn't waste paper you just like doop and then he goes like doop and then you go like doop and then he goes like doop and doop and doop and doop and doop and doop, and doop. 
so you'd like it's a draw. You have to take it all off. I know that does have to do a bit of effort of taking it all off, but believe me, it saves space. Because when you do it on a thing, piece of paper, pencil, you're wasting a lot of space. Oh, this is like on and on and on repeatable. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe, like, comment, whatever. And see you next time.